Hello friends, welcome to Oracle Apex Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be explaining about the REST APIs in Oracle Apex. Once you log into your app builder, there is a tab called SQL Workshop. Just click on that. Then there is a link for the RESTful services. Click on that. After that, so if your instance is fresh and uh, ORDS is not enabled, so here you will, it will be populating with one button called enable restful services just click on that button so that uh, you are able to see this screen okay and then after that here uh, there is some kind of dashboards you can see how many uh, the services are enabled metadata and authorization schema alias so those details how many modules are there privileges roles so everything about the ORDS REST AP, uh, RESTful services dashboard you can able to see here. Then after that, uh, once you uh, expand the uh, RESTful data service link, so here we have something called uh, modules and privileges and roles. These parts, uh, privilege and role, I will be explaining in my upcoming videos. So meanwhile, I will be just explaining with uh, what is module and uh, how to create an API. So like that module, module it is kind of package. So where we, we will be making a group of APIs. Then just click on module. Then click on uh, create module. Then uh, give some name. After that, we need to provide a base for. If you have any doubt, so you can click on this question mark icon, help text, and uh, it will. You can uh, check from this thing. Okay. So uh, now we are here. Base part. Okay. So this is your module. This is schema name and HR is module name, and base part. Okay. then this uh, pagination keep it default I will be explain about this later then uh, is published it is if you enable the API will be accessible through the browser okay now we have created the module after the module creation so we need to create another steps so suppose if you copy this URL and put it into browser, let's see what will appear. Okay, 404 uh, because this model, we just created the model, but there is no templates defined. Okay, first step is creation of module. After that, we need to create resource template. Okay, then this URI it is kind of you uh, it is similar to url so you need to provide uri so uri it will be something like this okay then just click on uh, create template okay now we have created a module and if you see the hierarchy module is at the top level then under module we have created the template template after that under template we need to create a handler okay so once you click on create handler so you are able to see here uh, the module and uh, base for and URI template after that there will be something called uh, you will be having methods for example in http restful services there is different kind of methods are there so get method is there post put and delete so this get method we, it is like a select query select star from something we will write right so if you want to get information uh, from uh, database 
by calling the API then uh, we will be using get method then here uh, for this uh, get method there is a source type we need to define so the output format it will be in JSON okay then after that so collection query if you select it as collection query then you need to provide a SQL query for your source just see uh, what are the other available options you can also create PLSQL and you can define uh, media and these are unsupported okay then for the time being I will use with collection query you can click on this question mark and you can read this if you need more details okay if you use uh, so here if you use collection query it will execute your SQL query and it will just give uh, whatever output that SQL query is giving in JSON format with ORDS standard then this collection query item it is uh, it is similar to above but uh, returning one row okay you can use this PLSQL if you need um, the format output format in in different way then you can use this one this media it is for mainly for blob if you suppose uh, on click of the API you want to display some kind of image or something then you can use this media resource okay so now uh, in my database I have a table this is my table so what I will do I will just put select start from yeah now handler also created now I will copy this part and paste it into let me open another browser it is not mandatory you can test in the same browser also but okay it is giving some kind of error why because why because in restful services when you are creating api and uh, the source is sql query so don't put a semicolon at the end of the sql statement this is kind of bug or something uh, so that's why if we put the S uh, semicolon at the end it will give some kind of error okay this is one way suppose uh, and also one more thing for performance wise uh, don't use select star from okay if you know um, so it's better to use the column name instead of select star so now I will display uh, I will change star with the, the columns I want
yes. Yeah. Now also, now also the this is the we are getting all the employees details in JSON format. This is the standard format. If you don't want to use this one, then uh, you can define your own. That I will be explaining in my upcoming videos. So, um, so at the beginning we saw something called uh, pagination. Okay, if you go to a uh, module. So here we set pagination as 25. Okay, so what uh, does it means? That means, so you can see uh, in this one. If you count one, two, three, four. So there is around. Uh, I think. Let me count from database. So there is. 22 employees are there in my employee table okay so this pagination it is like uh, so in, in in when you call the api in single page it will give you 25 records okay so if you want to display uh, get entire data in one view in one json format then you can just put redefine the pagination size okay so if you want to get a all record at a time then you need to put pagination 0 yeah then you can see it is giving entire output before also it was giving but if there is a data more than 25 then you need to here it will give you link for the next uh, data set so you need to programmatically call that url to get the next set of rows okay suppose um, suppose assume that you have a view so on the view also you are able to create the rest apis so what I will do with the same SQL query I will create the field Now I will use this view as a source for the RESTful services. We can use like this also and if you don't want to define the columns you can use like this also. So the benefits of do creating a view and selecting from the view is suppose if you want to um, if you want to add some more columns and uh, you want to uh, dynamically change uh, your uh, your uh, rest api also then it's better to create a view so if you have have a view so you can be use that view in multiple uh, reusable you can create uh, your interactive report or classic report everything yeah Suppose
thank you thanks for watching the video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and do like and share thank you